Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a preview of this custom nozzle double end bag. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we're gonna to do a quick preview of this custom nozzle double end bag. Now this hasn't been released to the general public yet and there's no pricing on it. Nozzle sent me this bag to try it out and give my thoughts and review on and, and feedback to them. And if you guys wanna leave any of your thoughts and feedback, make sure you guys leave that down below in the comments. Um, it's a really cool looking design. Um, it almost looks like a miniature version of their heavy bag uh, that you see there. Same exact ripstop nylon material is really durable. Um, it is man manufactured here in the United States. Um, this is a double M bag, so it does have the V-strap with the uh, metal loop at the bottom right there to connect. And that is all mounted and stitched into the nylon strap at the bottom of the bag. It does have this camouflage looking, uh, look to it, design at the gray, orange, and black. I think that looks pretty clean and sharp. Um, you do have that same material. That's a nozzle patch on the front. And then you also have uh, the V-strap on top with a little metal uh, hoop right there. Um, I opened it up just a little bit so you, can, you guys can see. The inside is actually filled with this uh, kind of a, almost like a fiber that you would see that they use like fake snow on and like Christmas time whenever they do like those, that fake snow when people do it on their front yards and they use kind of that same uh, material. And then they use a um, kind of like a microfiber terry cloth towel type material to stuff this bag. So it gives it a nice consistent, uh, gives it a nice consistent feel. And you can see it's definitely nice and firm um, to it. Not super hard, not like rock hard, but definitely has nice firmness to it and definitely heavier than a typical double end bag that's usually inflated. Diameter wise, this bag is about eight inches in diameter from left to right and about 12 inches in height from the top to the bottom. So. A pretty cool bag and let's go ahead and do the full preview of this and I'll kind of explain how this thing works. Hey what's up guys Carlo here and today I'm going to be doing a preview of this custom nozzle double end bag. Now by preview I mean this bag hasn't been formally released to the public as of yet so it's not on their website uh, nor do I have a price for this. This is a, a more of a preview so I've had this bag sent to me by nozzle about a month ago and they wanted me to use it give my thoughts feedback and give you guys my what I think about this bag. I think it's a great bag before I go any further, but I will explain why. Um, but also for your guys' thoughts, if you guys have any feedback, your thoughts, whatever you guys feel about it from what you see in this video, you know, make sure you comment down below, whatever you guys have to say about it, positive, negative, just say what you gotta say. Uh, but I've had it for about a month now, I've been kind of having it in my rotation, and I think it's a fantastic bag. It's about eight inches in diameter by 12 inches in height, obviously a double end bag, so you have the strap at the bottom and the top for the bungee cord attachments. It uses the same uh, vinyl type ripstop material that they use in their heavy bags. Made in the USA. Obviously it has all of this nylon strapping to really tighten everything in. And then the inside utilizes that soft fill with that kind of that terry, uh, that microfiber material that it uses to fill it. So it has kind of a medium to firm density to it with a cool design and the, the gray, orange and black camouflage and agile patch on the on the front. So just to mention wise, you can see the size of this compared to my gloves. And the thing I like about this the most is that even though it moves similar to a double end bag, it has some weight to it. And I'd say this thing's about 10 pounds. And you, you can see as I, as I let go, it, my cords have a lot of tension on it. But because of the sheer mass of this and the weight, it forces this thing to rebound and have a longer distance of travel. Now, a lot of times when you're using a, a standard double end bag, they're inflated with a bladder. They're, they have, they're just inflated with air. So there's not a lot of weight to them now, which, which are great for those of you that really want to work on speed and really getting some combos in and just getting a lot of speed work in. But one drawback I find with double end bags is that you, it becomes predictable. And predictable by, by I mean, now you're just kind of relying on your muscle memory to hit the bag rather than actually just timing it. And by that, I mean is you actually have to work on timing the punch, or should I say timing that your opponent coming to you and landing your shot. With a standard double end bag, if it has a good amount of punch, and you're gonna kind of get used to just hitting it at the same rate. And over time, it doesn't offer you the same challenge that it did when you first started doing it. So with this, 
When you land on Shauna like this, because of how firm it is, this replicates the feel of like hitting mitts a little bit more because you're hitting a solid surface. So I find this bag is really beneficial for sharpshooting and for timing and accuracy, but most, more or less timing because the, with the way it rebounds like this, I can't just throw punches at a fast rate. It's more about timing than it is speed with this bag. So as you hit it, it starts to rebound. You can work on your defense, you're slipping. Then you gotta time it again. Sharp, sharp shoot with your jab. See, if, I, if I'm off with my timing, I'm not gonna land. Or I'm gonna land a glancing blow. Or I'll feel like I overextend myself. So now, by that, I'm, I'm throwing my punch as the bag is getting away from me, which is not the correct form. You wanna make sure that you're timing it when the bag comes in, not when it goes away from you. So as it rebounds in, boom, hit it, boom. So I really like that, and it's, again, it's not all about speed with this, because if I hit it with the one, two, and I go too fast, again, my timing is a little bit off. I was a little too long with that right hand. So it's really about timing this and not all about power or speed, uh, which I really like. So it's been taking a little while for me to get used to it. it took me about a week to really get used to, to touching this thing up, just by the way it rebounds and how it feels. It doesn't feel like a, a double M bag that's lightweight and it's really mobile, like a little hummingbird where you just tap it, tap it. You really have to land shots on this in order to move this bag. So you can see, the timing definitely takes some getting used to with the adjustment. Um, I think that's a huge benefit. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what they come out with as far as pricing goes with this. Obviously it's nice material. I like the material they use on here. I've been using their, their heavy bag for several months now and it's held up perfectly. Um, so quality is definitely not an issue here. I like the design. Obviously I'm sure they'll come out with different color schemes. Um, and I think it just works out a different set of skills than a traditional double end bag. I think this works a little bit more on your timing and your defense rather than speed and getting used to doing the same repetitive motion that your body just naturally does. So I, I definitely think that offers a good challenge and the feel of it too, you get a little bit more conditioning because when you're hitting this, it's a lot more solid and more mass that you're hitting against compared to an inflated double end bag. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. Once I get more information on this bag, I'll make sure to put the link in the description box for this bag. But in the meantime, I'll put the link to the Nozzle website. So if you guys wanna go check out what else they have on their website, make sure you guys do so. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.